Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again Marvin and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin and this time we're going to be talking about my biggest regret yet again Oh my goodness, why did I just realize to do this right now? But anyway, 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 it may be not true but here goes nothing. <laughs> so this only applies to the VIP users. Okay, if you ha have your VIP card, then this would be this trick would be you know mostly beneficial to those who are farming uh, mini boss cards. So for the longest time, I've been using Bloody Branch and the you know the Dead Branch, the BBDB, right? Every every now every day, every now and then. I'm using uh, BBDB to complete my minis and my, um, you know, my elites. So a good thing there is when you use your bloody branch, it gives you the choice, okay? It gives you the choice on which one to summon, but it's still random on which one on those uh, different factions to summon, right? Uh, in terms of level. I just realized that what if I just don't I just hunt them on the VIP maps? For example, we're gonna go to the Poring Island just to hunt the Ghost Ring card. And since there's a ton of you know Dorams right now, and you wouldn't you be you you know one of those guys who suddenly dies just because you are standing you know a couple of meters away from a sacrifice AOE damage. So I just realized that why not why not farm the ghost ring card? Okay, so yep. I tested this one out. Okay, so let's just find the ghost ring first. <laughs> and it is uh, you know, it's just available for us. I have already tested this one out and um, you know you can really find the mini bosses here on the five eight packs. Let's just find it now, okay? Remember, we can find it. Come on, come on, come on, Just let me find you. You son of a ghost ring. Come on. Come on, okay, there you go. There is the ghost ring. <laughs> there is the ghost ring. So we're gonna kill this one, okay? So you have reached the maximum limit for today, of course, because I already completed my BBDB. Now, so. My people, uh, my friends say that they do drop mini drops. So it's not yet confirmed if they still drop the mini card. But why not farm for it? Because every time that you open another pouring island or uh, another VIP map, they're available again. You don't have to wait for them to respawn. And you can just hunt them again. Let's hunt them again. <laughs> Maybe somewhere. Maybe this is kind of a little bit tasky for those who don't have, uh, you know, the time to hunt. But look at this. Another ghost ring. And you have five, uh, five ch chances every day, right? So you go out again. And then you go back in again using your VIP. And you're just gonna do that for five times a day. And for me, who is... Somewhat, you know, one of those people who are frustrated on the neutral amount of neutral damage that you could get on PvP scenarios right now, then this would be worthwhile if you can get your hands on a mini MVP or mini card. Yes, a ghost ring card, right? So sometimes I see the ghost ring here, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's down below, there are a uh, few pieces where I found finally ghost ring up here, but it's always somewhere down below here or on the second part. Come on, come on, come on, just show your face, ghost ring. Come on. Is, is, is it here? No, the, the elite is here, but not ghost ring. Come on, come on, show your face, ghost ring. And sometimes if I don't see it uh, anywhere, I just give up and open another VIP map. And uh, you know, until I get it on those uh, frequently spawned areas of the ghost ring. And yeah. Just do it. The only thing that is not, you know, declared right now or not sure right now is if they can still drop their cards on vip maps and i do believe they they still can that's my that's my hunch that's my intuition maybe they still can get it okay i'm not sure if i'm able to get any on the on the you know the usual bbdb i only have achieved one card there 
and I never got any card after that. So if, if this happens, I just go out and just, you know, launch back in <laughs> myself. And for the elites, maybe you're be, you'll be telling me that it's going to be a trouble something for the elites. Actually, it's not. Um, it's kind of easy to, you know, do the elites on the Papuchicha Forest. You just, uh, you know, have to sacrifice a couple of fly wings. But, you know, who has time to... Uh, put their problems on a couple of Eden card for their fly wings. It's kind of, you know, cheap and easy to get, right? Look at that. It's always here, but uh, where is my my um, ghost ring? Come on. Show my ghost ring to myself. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, there you go. The ghost ring is here again. I mean, in my opinion, if, if this would take you like around 20 minutes a day more than BBDB, I would go for this one. If you have BBDB, oh, if you have VIP, I'm sorry, not BBD. If you have VIP, but sad for the F2Ps, they could not use that trick. But I'm gonna do that as long as, you know, as long as my faith holds that, you know, that the minis on the VIP maps still drop their cards. But anyway, that's it. Uh, if you have already attested or you have already asked somebody that could uh, make us sure if they drop cards or mini cards, I would do this every day, okay? Every single day until I get my mini card or my ghost ring card because I don't want to spend an another, you know, another... 5,000 pesos or $100 on this one just so that I could get a ghost ring card. I'll just, you know, lend a, a couple of minutes more of my time so that I could just hunt them instead, right? So anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like, share this to your friends, and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. That's it. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.